Don't look now, but I think there's a leech on your chin. Buzz off. I found this sliver of wood. Can you use this to make the map to the mop tree? Looks legit. I'll see what I can do. Here it is. Thanks, Wally. innovation. Oops. Oh, well, probably fine. So much to do. off my mop. Love these when I was six. Museum of Pirate Lore. I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I 
guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. It's torn and ugly, but strangely compelling. I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I 
guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I 
guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. I guess I lost my way. Dang. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I'll have a look around. Please do. The display case is locked. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago. After an incident where, like, 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs, and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision, in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. What you're working on? Crossword puzzle. What's a six-letter word for pirate? Mm, pirate. Do you get a lot of people in here? This is the off-season. Tell me again about the mug. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where, like, 20 pirates escaped. It was just one pirate, actually. No, I'm pretty sure it was 20. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. Whoa. 
What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. Haha, <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Huh, never seen one of those. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. It's a map on a fan. Well, I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. The display case is locked.
better to have one for each eye. If you say so. It makes things look bigger. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. If one monocle is good, two is better. Crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. The display case is locked. There's some very tiny writing on it. This is the one for the museum display case. Tell me again about the hook. That once belonged to the Dread Pirate Meat Hook. Hi there. Hello. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Hey, Guy Brush! Hey, kid! They say the only re I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guy Brush. Hey, kid. Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straights. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their names should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks.
No thanks, I'm about to be acquitted. Escaping looks bad. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Looking good. I like things neat. That's folded perfectly. That'll do, Parrot. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Welcome back. Please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it. Tell me again about the eye patch. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. Tell me again about the eye patch. It belonged to Captain John Laney. The pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Gotta get these edges perfect. Hmm, Mum would be proud. That's folded perfectly. That'll do, Parrot. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Welcome back. Please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. Do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. 
I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. can't convince you that I'm not Guybrush Threepwood? Just looking like Guybrush Threepwood is enough that I can't give you the job. Sorry. I think I should move farther away from the Quartermaster first. I think I should move farther away from the Quartermaster first. Classic and subtle. Like me. But I don't need to be wearing this right now. Yo ho! trying to fool me by wearing an eye patch. That is the worst disguise I've ever seen. No, no, of course not. Just having a little eye trouble. Left for a spit. Oh, try some cashies. You might be short on magnesium. Or wits. Darn, I thought this thing was supposed to be magic. I must have forgotten something. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. Threepwood. Are you trying to fool me by wearing an eye patch? That is the worst disguise I've ever seen. Darn, I thought this thing was supposed to be magic. I must have forgotten. Better take off this eye patch first.
Too bad it's empty. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. I'll get back to browsing the shop. Act fast. Supplies are limited. What do you make of this eye patch? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. One moment. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Ah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? John Laney was especially known for impersonating monsters of various types. You failed to mention that earlier. It's not a strong part of the sales pitch. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. I'll wait until I'm closer to the Chuck's ship. No need to scare the melee town folk. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B-Y-O-M. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. How's this for a mop? Let's see, stick, shoddy stuffed animal. Wait a minute. I've seen this mop before. Where did you get it? I stole it from a pirate. Oh, LeChuck will like that. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem. We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Once you were on LeChuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, 
I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here. You sleep here. You take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before. This hold is your world. The hull is your ground. The deck is your sky. And I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Uh, what if I need to, um, you know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I ate an unsightly ledge. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hole sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo ho, yo ho, pirate's life for me. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. No way am I picking that up with my hands. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh. Oi, you missed a spot. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Oi, you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. 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 Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. 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 Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. 
But you have me at a disadvantage, Withered Zombie Man. Have we met before? Uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guava teeny on my necktie. That must have been you. Necktie? And you plagued me now just as before. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, Withered Zombie Man. No problem. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? I wonder what it's made out of. I wonder what it's made out of. I already have some chicken feed. Uh, I don't think so. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Going somewhere, swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess! Get back to mobbing! I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choices I've made up to this point. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Missed a spot. Oh, nuts. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? No way am I picking that up with my hands. I already have some chicken feed. I wonder what it's made out of. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. 